This is Jenny Benton. She's a 60 foot semi traditional narrowboat built in 2009 by Reeves and she's been fitted out by her current owner who's had her since new. She's just been blacked last week. She had six new anodes put on at the same time and she had a hull survey conducted while she was out of the water. That's available for inspection in the office. There's photographs of her out of the water, freshly blacked on our website. She's a comfortable boat to drive, actually. It's a slightly unusual uh, control system. It's all hydraulic. I'll show you that as we go through the boat. There's a solar panel on the roof, 110 watts. Pole and plank and the usual navigation equipment there. The paint works in nice condition. Very light boat this, there's 10 of these big windows on board, they're all open, they've got hopper openers. Very good size well deck, four, four and a half feet long nearly. This boat is gas free, there's storage under these benches either side. She's gas free so in this forward locker it's just storage, she's got some wood for the stove in there at the moment. <clears throat> She has a hydraulic bow thruster. <clears throat> and then we go. Carpet to the floor in here. The saloon's large. It's 12 feet 6 inches long. Head height on the boat is 6 feet 4. All the lighting is LED. A couple of armchairs in here. This table drops down. It's quite a useful dining table or work area and it just folds down under the gunnel. So television in the corner, it's a TV DVD and there's a satellite dish in that cupboard at the bottom. The stove itself, that's just been refurbished, it's a wood warm fox fire. Plenty of room in here. Feels like quite a spacious boat actually. Into the galley, it's a walk through arrangement, the worktops are oak. That's a oven and microwave, it's a confection oven and microwave. Plenty of storage under here. And the hob itself is diesel fired. It's a two ring burner. Runs off the diesel system. Cupboards under here. And plenty of storage options. The flooring is wood effect vinyl. There's a side hatch here on the port side. The fridge is here. That's a Shoreline 12 volt fridge with an ice box in it. <clears throat> nice work tops these actually. It's quite nice. The sink is there with a myriad of storage options underneath. Huge cupboard in here. Likes us kindling this chap. Yeah, further drawers and cupboards under there. There's the view down through the saloon. And then about turn. Water tank on the boat is stainless steel. It's large, it's approximately a thousand litres. Moving aft, we go into the bedroom. The bed itself is currently seven feet four, sorry, seven feet long by four feet wide. The end section of the bed does come out to shorten it slightly, but if you want it fully made up, it's seven feet long. Hot water tank under the bed. Hot water is heated by the engine, the Eberspacker, and there is an immersion heater fitted as well. Central heating is diesel fired Eber Spacker. That does two hot air heaters and one towel rail, which is in here. This is the bathroom. The loo itself is a macerator pump out. The basin is ceramic. There's the towel rail. And the shower cubicle is a good size. So everything you need in there. And the aft cabin is a, a bit of an open book really. It could be a sort of second sitting room. You could fashion some sort of additional seating arrangement in here. It could be an office, nursery, whatever. Further storage options up there. Neat little desk here. That just folds up. And the pump out tank is under that bottom bit of wood there. Cupboards either side of the steps here at the back. And then here's the electrics, quite neatly arranged. 
There's the inverter. That's a three kilowatt Victron inverter charger. There's a galvanic isolator on board as well. The battery isolation switches were behind that instrument panel. Now we go into the semi trad stern. There's the hydraulic bow thruster and gear controls. Is the view from the helmsman's position. The engine is under here. It's a refurbished Perkins 3.3 diesel. There's a hospital silencer in there. I've mentioned the hydraulic bow thruster. The batteries, there's four 110 amp hour domestics and one starter there under the left hand bench there on the back of the on the back of the boat. There's a generator on board, that's subject to negotiation. If the owner's happy with the price, that'll come with it, but otherwise it won't. There is a washing machine, actually, I didn't mention. In the kitchen, it's a mini washing machine in one of the cupboards. It's a Costway, it's brand new. Let's just have another walk back through. Good size galley, actually, I didn't mention that. Seven feet, 11 inches long. That's part of eight feet. And she comes with all the necessary navigation equipment to just turn the key and go. So there we go. That's Jenny Ben, recently blacked, recently surveyed. There's a gallery of further photographs, downloadable spec, and the price, of course, on our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.